Marketing and Dairy Cattle Genetics Research. This week, you are going to learn about genetic progress in dairy cattle. We will examine the process of generating genetic evaluations and discuss the different traits that dairy farmers consider. We will look at how dairy cows have changed in the last half century and how genomic technologies are being incorporated into genetic selection programs. We are going to start by introducing the different breeds of dairy cows and their characteristics. The most common breed of dairy cow is the black and white Holstein. They originate from Holland and the first arrived in the United States in the 1850s. They comprise nearly 85% of the U.S. dairy cow population and are popular because they are the highest milk producing breed in the world. Holstein cows typically produce around 24,500 pounds of milk per year. 3.7% of Holstein milk is fat and 3.1% is protein. Holsteins are also large cows and weigh around 1,500 pounds at maturity. The smaller Jersey cow is the second most numerous breed in the United States, representing approximately 10% of the dairy cow population, and that number is growing. Jerseys originated on the Isle of Jersey off the Normandy region of France. For many years, they were the most numerous dairy cattle breed in the United States. Their popularity is growing again because they have high milk solid content in their milk with 4.8% fat and 3.65% protein. Even though they produce less milk than Holsteins, about 18,000 pounds per year, they are viewed as efficient because they produce a lot of milk from a small frame. A mature Jersey cow weighs around 1,000 pounds. They are also very fertile cows that give birth to smaller calves, which are more easily born than larger Holstein calves. Brown Swiss are similar in size to Holstein. They produce around 18,500 pounds of milk per year. While that is less than Holstein's, they have high milk solids content with 4.2% fat and 3.4% protein. They are the third most common breed in the United States, but only about 1% of U.S. dairy cows are Brown Swiss. Brown Swiss have unique behavior when compared to other cattle breeds. They are generally calm and friendly, but their calves are different. Many farms feed calves from a bottle for a few days after they are born, and then they train calves to drink from a bucket. It can take several weeks for a brown Swiss calf to learn to drink from a bucket. This isn't a big problem for brown Swiss breeders because they've designed their calf management system with this in mind. The remaining traditional dairy cattle breeds in the U.S. are Ayrshire, Guernsey, and Melking Shorthorn. Collectively, they represent around 1% of the U.S. dairy population. Each of these breeds maintain a loyal following and can be competitive in specialized markets, but they lack the milk yield of Holsteins or the fertility and milk solids content of Jerseys to be as competitive in a mass production system. There is one additional group of cows that we have ignored to this point, crossbreds. Crossbreds are cows that are a mix of two or more breeds. We don't know the exact number of crossbreds in the United States, but 5% is a reasonable approximation and their numbers are growing. In some instances, farmers have crossbreds because they are transitioning to another breed of cow. For instance, if I have Holsteins and decide I would like Jerseys, I have two choices. I can go and buy Jersey cows, or I can breed my Holsteins to a Jersey bull and can continue breeding those descendants back to Jersey. I may also just decide that I want to milk crossbreds. Crossbreeding allows me to combine attractive characteristics of multiple breeds and to take advantage of hybrid vigor. Here at Penn State, we conducted a research trial that examined brown Swiss by Holstein crosses on commercial dairy farms. The pure Holstein cows produced 717 pounds of protein per lactation. The pure brown Swiss produced less, 691 pounds. However, the crossbreds actually produced more than pure Holsteins or pure brown Swiss at 748 pounds of protein. That boost was due to hybrid vigor. Over the last decade, we have also begun to see semen imported from foreign breeds for crossing with Holstein. The most popular breeds for importing are two related breeds from Scandinavia, Norwegian Red and Swedish Red, and the Montbilliard breed from France. The Norwegian and Swedish Red breeds